a baby boomer workout earlier. That's this one. And then there's an elite athlete, uh, competitive athlete one uh, in the afternoon. So on this one, the focus is a uh, baby boomer. So uh, I would say anybody that's like my age or higher, um, we don't have to go crazy with this. And I'll give you some options to, to adjust and adapt uh, depending on the exercises. But in general, here's what we're doing. Uh, we'll start with some uh, upper body. Start with the hand with the, uh, with the arm bands. So go ahead and break your arm bands out and then get your leg bands on standby. Um, equipment you'll need today. Um, the only equipment really, there is a section where we're gonna do some tricep extension or dips on chairs if you can do that. If you can't handle that, if you can't do dips with chairs, uh, then we can just uh, make them tricep extensions. Uh, so there'll be hand clenches, uh, no weight or low weight bicep curls, triceps, extensions, some dips, uh, some modified push-ups, uh, and then we'll uh, hydrate, go ahead and hydrate right now, get some water in you, uh, and then we'll shift to the legs, and uh, I'll tell you what we're doing at that point. So for now, let's go ahead and get the armbands on. I already got mine all lined up here. And remember from last time when we put these on, we want them all the way up into the armpit there. And we want to give it a good snug pull, tight enough that I can't get more than one finger under that band. And I can get a finger under that band, uh, but it's snug. You know what I mean? So that's good. There's one. Let's get the other guy on here. I think we're going to have Katie joining me today. Yep. There she is, right in the background, the good looking one. She's gonna be with us today. And let's get both on here. Again, tight enough that it's snug for a finger, right? Okay, take your cycle 2.0, turn it on, push the middle button. John, can you remind people of the capillary refill time check, just to be sure? Yep, so cap refill. When you're putting on, go ahead once you've started, and I'm gonna start at the lowest setting. I'm gonna hit oop, and low. And now I've started the first cycle. So the first cycle is 80 millimeters mercury. And right away, that light pressure I have a little because I have a pretty snug base pressure I have a little bit of marbling in my hands and if I press let's see I get the capillary refill not immediate but pretty quick when you see that capillary refill when you see that stain white for longer than three seconds you don't want to go any higher pressure Okay, so that's CRT. You'll hear Stephen and I and others always talk about cap refill time. Okay, Stephen, are we ready to go? Ready to go. All right, here we go. Go ahead, put your cycle on your belt there, your shorts or whatever you got. And what we're going to start with, you can come closer, babe. We're just going to start with 30 hand clenches. And when I say hand clench, it's not really fast. It's the idea is tight and all the way open, full extension, tight, all the way open. And we're just priming the pump, okay? And I know this doesn't seem like much, but once we get towards the end, and I'll probably increase my cycle pressure a little bit. What, what setting are you on, Katie? Group low. Group low? Okay, so we're both on group low right now. Uh, not that much pressure. Um, that's, what is that, about 20. 21, two, all right, there we go. Five. I wanna remind anybody, one. if uh, you have any questions, right. as John is uh, proceeding. 10 seconds rest. Go ahead and type it in the chat room and then uh, we'll answer those. Sorry, John, go ahead. Okay, next set, let's do 20. 
And again, uh, nope, now we're going into 20 of these. All right. Now, you should be feeling a little bit of fatigue in your forearms. Something else you can do is you can, you can mix in a little bit of a curl and full extension. A little bit of a curl and full extension. All right. Now, for these next couple, I want you to do the next five as fast as you can. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, shake it out a little bit. I want to go ahead and give myself a little more love here. All right, I'm on group medium. Now let's do 10 slow. Tight, all the way open. Tight, all the way open. If you guys don't remember, this is Cody right here. Vicious, vicious dog, half German Shepherd, half Poodle. All right, good, good. Shepherd Doodle. All right, now let's do five as fast as we can. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, pumps primed. So now we're gonna go into some bicep curls, okay? 30, 20, 10. We're gonna do 10 seconds rest in between them, okay? So here we go. It's engaged all the way up and engaged all the way down. You can do this with no weight. You can do this with light weight. Katie's got two pound balls. I wanna actually take some five pound weights there. If you want weight, you can use soup cans. All right, what is this, nine? But you don't need anything. You can use just nothing and really engage on the eccentric move, right? The, the eccentric move is the move on your way down. Really engage everything. Try not to let anything rest. So don't rest at the bottom and don't rest up at the top. Keep everything nice and engaged. Two more, or wait a minute. Oh, geez, okay, 10 more, sorry. All right, good. All right, 10 more. All right, so I'm on group medium, and I would say the pump is primed. I'm definitely, I'm definitely feeling it. Okay, five, nice. All right. Three more. Okay, shake it out. Let's give ourselves a couple seconds here. We're in the cycle mode. Highly encourage you guys to do cycle mode. At the very end, we can do some training if you want. All right, here we go. This is, we're doing 20 now. One, two, three. Four, you doing good? Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can't see him now, but Sean's out of the screen and he's working in the backyard on kiteboarding tricks. He has a kiteboarding bar tied up to the rafters of the garage. Perfect. Making a good situation out of shelter in place <laughs> all right one more okay 10 seconds rest go ahead and check your cap refill make sure nothing's slower than three seconds okay and last set one two three four five okay Six, we're gonna do the last three really slow. Seven, all right, now slow, slow, slow. That's good, that's good. Like five seconds up, five seconds down. Here's number nine. Good. All right, and last one. <laughs> it definitely does not feel like five pounds. Okay. Shake it out, give ourselves 20 seconds. I'm just gonna pick up some eight pounders. But again, you don't need anything. You can use lightweight, you want any? Okay, so these tricep extensions. 
So I'm going to do them like this. You also can just go straight to 90. I like doing them like this. All right, ready to begin. Up, two, three, four. Steven, are we in the screen? Are we okay? Yes, you're looking good. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No book bouncing on heads today. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. Yes. Of course. Uh, John is referring to a our Friday's core stability workouts where uh, we were working on a core and, and John was really working it. Okay. I see the Hollywood squares keep getting smaller and smaller. We got a fair amount of people on there. Yes. We got 31 people. Okay. How many is that, babe? Nine and 30, okay. A couple seconds rest. Is that me that beeped? Hi. All right. Here we go. Hi, it's the one. Oh, I think we got a question. Go ahead. No, no, that it was okay. That was just a, a talk. Nine. And ten. One. Two, three, four, five. Or I'm definitely going down the fives after this one. Okay, 10 seconds rest. And here we go, we're doing 10. One, two, three, four. Sorry, sorry. Five seconds up, five seconds down. Yeah. That five just got really heavy. One more. Okay. Nice. All right, so now we're going to head into some dips. And we're not doing these for reps. We're going to do these as time, okay? Steven, you got a, a stopwatch handy? Yep, I can get, just tell me when. So can you go ahead and give me 30 seconds? Will do. So if you guys hear your cycle beep twice, go ahead and hit either a repeat on that pressure or go up a pressure. All right, Steven, okay. you ready? Yep, go ahead and start. Okay, here we go. So not too fast, you can do them like Katie is. You got two chairs. You can do them like me, kind of a two second up, two second down. 15 Try seconds. Rest too much in the up position like I am. <laughs> Five seconds. Woo. Three, two, one. Just hold Good. It. Okay. Give me 10 seconds rest, please. Okay. Okay. Get ready. All right. Ready, go. And here we go. Great job. 10 seconds. Just focus, John. I know it's burning. Five seconds. 20 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds. Okay, that's a lot. I'm shifting to the way you're doing them. All right, ready, last set, ready, go. Last set and go. You can just use the handles yeah. on a chair. You can, if it's last too set hard, of 10. You bend your legs. John, do two more, one, two, two. More. great job. All right. All right, good. All right, Steven, I know you got down three sets of those, but I think we're good. Yes. Let's go ahead and uh, shift to modified push-ups. So if you got a towel, go ahead, lay it on the ground. If you got a pad, go ahead, lay it on the ground. I'm not going to do these as regular push-ups because honestly, it's too much for me. Um, so I'm going to do them on my knees. I think Kay's going to do them on her knees too. Let me adjust the camera here a little bit. Sorry, guys. Okay, so uh, Steven, same thing, man. If All you right. Could do, uh, just give us... 
30 seconds. All right. And then we'll do 10 seconds rest in 20 seconds. 10 seconds rest. Hi, Buck. How you doing? All right. Okay. All right. You ready? Yeah. Go ahead. And begin. Nice and slow and controlled. Not too slow. Not for this part. Two seconds up, two seconds down. The idea here is no momentum, no locking it in the up position. 10 seconds, Just Todd. Nice. 10 seconds. Consistent Five. movement. Five seconds. Three, two. Okay, go ahead and rest. And, all right, give us 10 seconds. If this is too hard for you, go lean up against the wall and just move away from the wall a little bit. John, I'm going to give or you 20 seconds. You. Okay. Because I know these are hard. <laughs> okay. Katie, we got a couple more seconds. Okay. Ready? Katie doesn't have the headset in. <laughs> All okay. You ready? Ready, go. Here we go. 20 seconds. Can you see us okay, Steven? Perfectly. John is coming to us from uh, the western coast of Florida. All right, three, two, one. Two, one, and stop. 20 seconds rest. Woo. We need to get some Katsu t-shirts, workout shirts, man. I'm gonna get on that, Stephen. That's, yeah. that's my project this yeah. week. <laughs> enough of the colored <laughs> stuff, yes. All right. Yeah, enough of this dressy stuff. This is our dress uniform, you know. All right, you All ready? Right. ready? Last one. Ready, go. All right, here we go. 10 seconds. Nice, consistent movement. And on this one, now move super, super slow. Okay, three, three seconds down. Two, one. Three Great seconds job. up. And that's good. Okay, that's it. All right, now we're going to do fast push ups. So, same thing, but we're going to do for 15 seconds on. 10 seconds off, 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off, five seconds on, then we'll take 20 seconds off. Try that twice. Okay. This thing? Okay. Steven says three, but. It's okay. We'll do it, we'll do it twice. All right. Three is for uh, the, the elite athlete Olympians this afternoon, right? Yes. All right, so Steven, give us 15 seconds, then 10 seconds rest. All right, guys, you ready? Okay. Ready, go. And There go my glass. <laughs> uh, for the audience and participants, John is a former Navy SEAL, spent 25 years in the uh, Navy. Uh, okay. Great job, John. <laughs> All right. 10 seconds rest. You started talking, so I assume we were done. No, no. We, okay. were, uh, yeah, we, we were just telling you your background. Ready? Go. And 10 seconds. Go. Great job. Three, two, one. One, and stop. Okay, 10 seconds. Okay, last set, John. Three, last set, go in two, for five seconds. Ready? One, go. go. Two, three. Oh. Great job, great job. <sighs> All right. All right, give us 20 seconds. You good? Okay, Katie's gonna do them on the chair. I'm gonna try these as regular, regular ones. All right. All right. When you want. You ready, Steven? Yeah, go ahead. All right, on my, on my count. Ready? Begin. Yeah. Come on, John. Holy cow. All right. Stop. Stop. That's good. Okay. Found failure. That's good. All right, five seconds. When you're ready. Going for 10 seconds. Ready? Go. Two, three. <laughs> Come on, John. Three more seconds. Three, two, <sighs> one. Great job. <laughs> okay, I'm going back to my knees. No uh, problem. It reminds you of Bud's seconds. training. You ready? Yeah, exactly. And begin. Five seconds. One, 
four, three, two, one. Great job. That's good. Okay. Woo. Okay, uh, guys, go ahead. Hit power on your cycle 2.0. Turn it off. I mean, not all the way off. Just get the compressors to stop. Okay. Let's take the armbands off. There we go. Woo. Okay. So if you guys remember, uh, remember last time, I like to put the leg bands on while I'm standing up. And then I tighten them once I sit down on a chair or a bench. So when I tighten them, I'm not sitting on the bands, okay? Sit on the very edge of the chair, relax my glutes, hamstrings, quads, and then you can really cinch them down. As tight as we had those on our arms, we definitely can go more on the legs. And I know we always talk about this, it's a good reminder. Your legs have so much muscle, so much tissue in them. It's nearly impossible to fully occlude. So I'm just putting these on snug. I'm gonna tight, I'm gonna tighten that up here in a little bit. But nearly impossible to occlude arterial flow with this. All we're trying to do is slow down the venous return. And if you don't have the leg bands tight enough with all that muscle, you're not going to slow it down enough, okay? All right, so those are on snug, but they're not nearly tight enough, right? So what I do, I don't know if you can see that, what I do is I sit, my butt is not, my butt's on the chair, but the band is not, okay? And then, really, you know, you can do it, do it a little further. You really can get, that's why we have this dual strap. You really can tighten with one, lock it with the other. Same on the other side. Tighten with one, make sure your shirt's not in there, and lock it with the other, okay? Ooh. Oh, let me help you out here a little bit, Katie. Katie's got the older school uh, aqua bands on, which are a little more challenging to get on. There we go. Okay, so what are we doing? Let's start with some calf raises. So first, get the cycle 2.0, which is still on. Go ahead and go ahead and I'm gonna put mine on pro. And then I'm gonna start pro medium. I really like Personally, I like the higher pressure on my legs. And I have enough base pressure that even at this pressure with no assistant from, assistance from the machine, I already, my capillary refill on my legs has already slowed down a little bit. So we're gonna get already pretty tight. But I like it even tighter. Everybody has their own personal preference. Once you're hooked up, you can kind of Velcro these out of the way. And go ahead and start. There we go. All right, so we're gonna start with, uh, we're gonna do some, some calf raises. And the way we're gonna do them is, Steven, I'm gonna ask you to uh, give us uh, 20 seconds, then 10 seconds off. Okay. Then 15 seconds, then 10 seconds off. And we'll do that twice. Okay. okay. All right. All right, here we go. Ready? Begin. So when we're doing katsu, we, um, whether we're doing arms or legs, we like to start with the smaller muscles, both the flexion movement and the extension movement. With our calves here, we're going up for two okay, seconds. John. Down, okay, go ahead, rest. Just like the arms, we go hands, wrist, buys, tries with the legs. We're gonna start start small with the calves. Okay, ready? 
Nope. 20 seconds on this one. Am I sweating? <laughs> sweating just yeah. a little bit. It's good. Right. We got Buck there. Five seconds. Somebody to throw the ball. Five seconds. Three, two, we'll do one. All right. All right. Here's a Buck demonstration. Come here, Buck. Ready? Hey, good catch. Okay. Five more seconds. And here we go. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, and go ahead and Great. take 20 seconds rest. Okay, we're going to do that one more time. I forgot to tell you guys, get some water in between arms and legs. Always drink water. Anytime you're doing katsu, have a big glass of water ready to go. Okay, here we go. 20 seconds. You ready, Steven? Yep, go ahead. And begin. Nice and slow on your way up, even slower on your way down. Good. Nice. I hear some people drinking. Good. I've seen some people have their mic off mute. I got it. It's okay. All right. How are we doing, Steven? Good. Five. Three. Four, three, two. All right. One. All right, rest. Okay, two more of those. All right, 10 seconds and begin. Or is it 15 seconds? 15, 15. 15, yeah, that's right, okay. Up slow, down slow. Up slow, down slow. Nice. Three, two. Two, one. One, and stop. Okay. Five more seconds of rest. Buck's happy. Threw his ball. He's wondering what the hell we're doing. Okay, here we go. Stand up. Down. Nice. Good. Should be feeling this in your calves by now. If you're not, it might be that you need a little more air pressure. Okay. But more often than not, go ahead, rest. More often than not, if you're not feeling it by now in your calves, it's probably because you don't have enough base pressure. More often than not, even with pro football players, that's the first thing we check on the legs. Do you have enough base pressure? So that being said, let's go ahead, push your, tap your power button, turn off the cycle 2.0. We didn't talk about this last time. Go ahead and get your leg nice and relaxed and you can do it sitting down or you can do it like this. And go ahead and get a little bit tighter because the bands, the bands give a little bit, right? And the bands, as you move these major muscles, the bands will actually kind of move and adjust and kind of find that skinniest part of your upper leg. Same on your arms. So it's good after you do a set of something, especially in the cycle phase, to go ahead, tap that off and readjust. Okay, so now these are on, <laughs> these are on really good. Okay, so we are going to some leg curls. So what I like to do is if there's two of us, we just kind of balance each other. If you don't have somebody, use the back of a chair. Uh, if, you're, if you're good, uh, and I'll be able to do this on one side, but probably not on the other, with my knee replacement. But go ahead and do leg curls, okay? And Steven, same thing. Okay. Give us a 20 second count. All right. Two seconds up, two seconds down. Seconds up, seconds down. Don't let your leg rest. And this is good on the weighted leg, too, because you're working on balance. Five. If you're five seconds. Okay. And, okay, shake it out. Okay, we got 10 seconds rest, and we're going to go for 15. Same thing. Keep the same leg on the ground. If you were able to do it barely holding the chair, try to do it without holding the chair. Maybe just have your hand hovering. Okay, ready, be in. This is 15 seconds now. So if you can do it with no hands, 
that's ideal. If you're with somebody, you can help each other or you can use a chair, whatever you want. And as okay. you can tell, okay, John. okay, Rust, as you can tell, we're not moving any weight at all. We're not even doing body weight, no weight yet. Definitely feeling this in the hamstring. Okay, last set. This one is for 10 seconds. All right, begin. Really emphasize that upper range and really engage everything on the way down. Really try to tighten everything and focus on okay. that hamstring. All right, John. Okay, rest. Okay, shake it out for a second. Woo. And now, let's go ahead and uh, do the other leg. All right, 20 seconds, Steven, here we go. All right. And begin. I always mess up with posture. When I'm focusing on the leg, a lot of times I'll forget about what's going on elsewhere in my body. And something about Kotz, you know, Okay, always five seconds. Mind. Five seconds, just a couple more. Yeah. All right. Rest in. Rest 10, guys. Something to keep in mind with Kratzu is that lactate sensation you're feeling in your leg, the body's reacting. All right, go ahead. All right. The body's reacting everywhere. So you're getting the hormonal response from this exercise everywhere. And even if we're just talking about the strength of the heartbeat and the cardiac output, okay, that's affecting everything. All right, go ahead. Rest. Oh, we got one more, right? Yep. One more for 10 seconds. Ready? Okay. Go. And begin. And uh, even doctors, we, had a, we have a doctor that works with us, an eye physician, a retina surgeon. You can okay. measure. All okay. right, go ahead, shake it off. You can measure cardiac output in the retina, in the arteries behind the retina. And when you're doing katsu, you can even see the effect there. It's pretty amazing. Okay, I lost the uh, Zoom screen here. Sorry, guys. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to go into some quarter squats, all right? I'm going to go ahead. Steven, I'll, I'll, take, I'll keep time on this because this okay. one's going to be a little more dynamic. All right. Um, guys, this, main, this is the main set, all right? Everything we've been doing, we've been working up to this set. It's going to be a quarter squat. You don't have to go all the way down, okay? I just want you guys to go to about here, all right? Somewhere in here. And then try to keep, try to make your butt go back. Try to have your butt back and your knees stay behind your toes. Try not to round your back. But here's the key. And this is the part that always gets you guys. You don't get the luxury of full extension, okay? So we're gonna do 20 seconds, then we're gonna do 15 seconds, then we're gonna do 10 seconds, okay? We're gonna do this three times through, but you never get the rest in the up position. That's the key, because as soon as you lock out, now everything's resting. We don't wanna rest this tissue, okay? All right, you ready? All right, here we go. Starting with 20 seconds. And make sure you got, before we start, I'm gonna go ahead and start my cycle over so I don't have to worry about it in the middle of the main set. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so two seconds down, two seconds up. You don't get the lock down. Not even far enough that you're sitting in a chair, right? Try to keep the knees behind the toes. Weight in the heels, even lift your toes a little bit if you need to, and rest. Okay, five seconds. All right, here we go, begin. Not to full extension, and not all the way down. Everything is just moving. Nice and slow, right? Okay, three, 
two, one. All right, rest. Okay, 10 seconds to rest. Five more seconds. And begin. All right, nice. Don't worry about how many reps you get. Okay, three, two, one. And that's good. Okay, rest. Okay, 15 more seconds. Shake it out a little bit. Grab a drink if you got one handy. Okay, five seconds. All right, and begin. That's 10 seconds, 10 more. Five, four, three, two, and one. That's good. Woo yeah. <laughs> Five seconds rest. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, begin. All right, we're just doing 15 seconds. Chest up, back straight, knees behind your toes. And that's good. 10 seconds rest. Woo <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one. And this is only 10 seconds, but nice and slow. You don't need to rep out. Just nice and slow. Just keep moving. Three more seconds. Ah, okay. Ooh, 20 seconds. Was that, was that two sets? Okay, we got one more. Uh, again, Stephen had written five to eight. We're good with three. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Ready? Begin. This is a 20 second. Five more seconds. Oh, this is getting tough. And it's crazy. Ah, that's good. It's crazy that we're in cycle mode. <laughs> Five seconds, because we're getting a release every every thirty seconds. All right, ready? Begin. Fifteen seconds. Ah, I'm surprised. Honestly, I'm surprised how much. Five more seconds. How intense this really feels, even with the release. That's good. We got one more. Ten seconds, right? All right, guys. Here we go. Just give me two reps, two slow reps. Not to lock and right back into it, but back up slow. Okay. Ha. That's good. All right. Go ahead and hit the power button. Whew. Okay. We got a little bit of extra credit if you want. If you don't want, you can hydrate and watch and laugh. But what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go ahead and let that blood flow back a little bit. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna release my base pressure for a second. Just release it. That was a... Uh, I'm amazed that that was in cycle mode. Okay, let the blood come back. Okay, the extra credit set is a lot of fun. We're gonna do two sets of burpees. If you don't know what a burpee is, um, we'll show you. But um, try this, and if it's too hard, don't worry about it. But there's a couple of ways you can do this. Traditional burpee, is down, both feet back, push up, up, back, and a jump. That's a burpee. If you can't kick both feet out at the same time, you absolutely can come down, step, down, up, step, and if you can't jump, you don't have to jump. Wait, any variation, whatever you want. What we're gonna do is uh, 
I had this broken down by time, but I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do ten burpees, twenty seconds rest, five burpees or uh, five burpees, twenty seconds rest, and then do five again. Okay, that's twenty burpees total. Doesn't sound like much, but I will not be able to speak afterwards. <laughs> okay, um, so what we're going to do on these. Go ahead, if you did loosen your bands like me, go ahead, and get them tightened back up. Ooh, yeah, because we're going to do these untethered. We're not going to have boxes and tubes flopping around. All right. Now, we're going to go into training mode, okay? If you guys don't remember what training mode is, you want to go ahead and put the cycle in neutral mode, okay? So push the center button. And neither one of these will be lit up. That's neutral mode. Now go to the top, push and hold the L, and you'll see the word cycle turn into training. Okay? Now, more pressure, less pressure. Okay? So I personally, <laughs> I probably shouldn't tell you how much. I'm going to give myself 300. I'm going to do 300 with good solid base pressure. I can barely get a finger under my band. And then you hit the power button and it'll go ahead and give it about five, 10 seconds. All right, you hear that thing humming along? Boom. Okay, that right there. Okay, I was sitting on a tube. I had a tube kinked. Make sure you're not ever sitting on the tubes, okay? And you'll see it get all the way up to pressure. Almost. Bam. Okay, so I'm at 300. Okay, if you don't know how to untether, we'll go over it right now. Richard is the genius in the group, so he created a one-way check valve in the female connector, okay? So hold one white side and one finger, one, one hand, and then with the other hand, go ahead and push, twist, and pop it off. And because Richard's got the one-way check valve in there, you're not going to lose any pressure. Same thing on this side. And now we're untethered. And then you really, to save the battery, you can just go ahead and turn this off. Double beep means it's off. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are untethered. Which means this is gonna be intense. All right, 10, five, and five. Do them however you can. Do them at your own speed. As prescribed is all the way down, chest to the ground, and then off the ground. That is one rep. So we're gonna do 10, then we're gonna do, uh, what did I say, 20 seconds rest, and then we're gonna do five, 20 seconds rest and then five. Let me get the, uh, get the stopwatch going here. All right, here we go. All right, ready, set, 10 burpees, here we go. Just do, oh, I'm sorry, you're right, not 10. Do them for time. Oh no, we're doing rough. The hell am I talking? <laughs> Good job, John. I think I'm one in front of her. <laughs> I'll do one more for Katie, so we're lined up. Okay. Okay, 20 seconds. No, at the five. How's your heart rate, John, up there? Yeah, it's up there, I don't know. Five seconds, guys. Three. Three, oh my God. Uh, Ay, ay, ay. 
20 seconds. Can't talk, five seconds. All right, guys, three, two, one. My quads are burning. I got almost nothing left. Yeah. Hi. Two more. Good. Hi. Last one. Ah. Okay, guys. Ah. Take. Put the pressure on. Oh my god. Push on the center. Clear that. Pressure comes out. Now, my favorite part take the bands off. Remember. Oh, great, yeah. great job, John. That was a uh, little over 45 minutes of workout. Okay. Take good carry bands, wrap them back up. Thanks, Steven. Wrap them back up. So guys, I know, uh, good job, Katie. So, whew. Last time we talked, I said right at this point of the workout, whatever it is you're doing, I misspoke. I said that uh, your A1C levels, along with a lot of other hormonal response, would peak significantly. I got that a little bit backwards. Your insulin growth factor, which definitely is a marker associated with people with prediabetes and type 2 diabetes. IGF-1 spikes. The more often you do that over time, the body's response, whether we're talking metabolic syndrome or we're just talking blood pressure, over time, the A1C levels decrease. And we've seen that in Japan in a couple of really cool studies. Uh, if you want to see one of them, just let us know. We'll send it to you. Um, Great job, everyone. Uh, if you're not smoked, you probably didn't have those leg bands tied enough. <laughs> you got anything else, Steven? Yeah, if anybody wants to see additional uh, workouts, you can always go to cutsblog.com. And I'm putting it in the uh, chat uh, area so they can refer to it. But katsu, K-A-H-T-S-U, blog.com will have a, a number of uh, exercises that uh, anybody can do. But I want to thank everybody. That was a great, great job, John. And uh, we'll see you uh, when, uh, Wednesday, unless you want to do the afternoon workout with the highly competitive collegiate and Olympic athletes. Hey, okay. Stephen, can I yeah. say one, one yeah. more thing? Go ahead. I had a couple people reach out to me after that last workout with Katie when we did the core stability. And they were like, dude, you were totally smoked. You must have been so sore. And, and something to keep in mind with all this stuff is uh, because you're not pushing real weight, you know, this whole 70, 80% one rep max, because you're not pushing weight anywhere near there, your muscle tissue, your muscle fibers are not getting that inflammation response. So to those that are considering doing the afternoon workout, you'll be totally recovered by that, no problem. Just say. Okay. Thank you, John. Again, we'll we'll see you in the afternoon. Thanks, guys.